comfortable seated, we're going to do an alternate nasal breathing exercise first of all. So make sure your hips are above your spine. So if you need to sit on a cushion just to tilt the pelvis forward, that's perfectly okay. We're going to use our hands, um, one hand to the face. So I, I personally like resting my elbow on my knee, but it's perfectly okay to be easy seat or on your knees and just have the hand there. So we connect the thumb to the right nostril, the index in the middle to the third eye between the eyebrows, and just leave the left nostril clear at the moment, but you either use your ring finger or your little finger, whichever is more comfortable depending on your, your finger length. And we're going to be breathing in through the left, we're going to close the left, then breathe out through the right, then we breathe in through the right, close the right, then breathe out through the left. But I'll guide you through it. Just find yourself settling first of all, close down the eyes if you feel more comfortable that way, or just set your gaze soft and focused. Open the mouth and just sigh out gently, emptying the lungs. Bring your mouth together and inhale through the left nostril for one, two, three, four. Close the left, open the right, and exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, right. Breathing in. Four, three, two, one. Close right, open left. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, left one. Two, three, four, close, exhale right, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, close, exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, close, exhale, four, Three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, close. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, close. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Third eye there, opening both the right and the left, and inhale for one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one. And release. Allow your breath to flow naturally now and allow your eyes to open. We're going to come down to the mat first of all. We're working today to so stretch through the body. We're working on opening up the hips, the sides of the body. And if we're looking at meridian lines, it's the liver and the gallbladder, which is all about detoxing our digestion. It's just shedding the layers of detox so that we can just come out again like spring, it's springtime of year. So come down to the mat so that we can come through the eye of the needle. So as you come down to lie on your back, keep the left foot flat to the floor with the knee bent and bring the right ankle over the left knee. So your leg is, uh, your knee is out towards the side of the room. And then we're taking the hands through the eye of the needle. So you're taking the right hand through the middle taking the left hand to interlink the fingers either behind the back of the thigh or on top of your shin if that's more comfortable. If you haven't got the reach, take a strap and make sure you're able to just allow the shoulders to be flat to the mat, the back of the neck long. So the other thing that you might need to do is take a cushion Place that at the back of the head and the neck so the neck stays long and the shoulders stay flat. So work out what is best for you. We're going to set the timer holding this, letting the shoulders, the weight of the arms, allow the hips to open. 
and the spine to settle, keeping the sacrum flat. We're holding this for three minutes on the side. So allow yourself just to surrender to the softness of the pose. Let your body weight just start to work beyond the muscle and go to those deeper layers. The first way to start surrendering to that softness, to relaxing through the face. So loosen the jaw, soften the forehead, and then let that message of softness spread down the body to the shoulders, let them sink towards the floor, the weight of the arms, just gently pulling that knee further forward towards your body. The spine settles into the mat, the belly is soft falls on each exhale towards the back of the spine. Allow softness through the legs, no tension through the feet. Just release. With each exhale, just invite that sense of softening, of letting go, of physical and mental tensions. So as you inhale, you inhale warm, vibrancy, vibrancy, nourishment. Just under a minute left on this side. Mindfully moving slowly, just allow your foot back down to the mat. Extend both legs out so that they're long along the mat. Keep them to the left side of the mat. Shuffle your hips to the right side of the mat and take the upper body towards the left side of the mat. So the legs, the shoulders and the arms are towards the left, the hips are towards the right. As we come into Present shape, a banana shape, banana asana. And allow yourself to find that stretch, your arms overhead, you can interlink fingers or grab opposite wrists. You can take your right ankle over the left if you want to just increase the stretch all the way down the right side of the body. Relax the head, make sure there's no tension there, so let your head drop to the side. Just feel the length all the way opening on the right side of the body as we hold this. Another three minutes. So again, it's that releasing of tension. It's that first focus of any stretching and hold pose in these yin type restorative poses. You also want to be aware of the target area, where you're wanting to feel it. And on this case, it is down the right side of the body. At lengthening, creating space. The exhale, the tension, the physical and the mental tension. The 
inhale, knee roll. As we're truly coming into spring season now, nature enters that cycle of regrowth, reawakening, renewal, expansion. That's what we should try and do as well with our physical being. We want to awaken what is being dormant. Particularly as we face the days we have at the moment, we allow our energy to become a little stagnant. In the tail of winter and now the situation we are in now. We just think about shedding the old layers and breathing in new. One more minute on this side. If at any time you start to feel any tingling, any pins and needles, mindfully adjust yourself. Don't move quickly. Our bodies are so relaxed that if you suddenly start activating the muscles, you suddenly do feel likely to cause yourself an injury. Be kind to yourself, listen to your body. mindfully just central central uh, bring your body to the center of the mat so your spine is straight take your legs a little bit further apart so the feet are to the edges of the mat your arms to the edges of the mat and just take a moment to let your spine settle back in its natural neutral state like in this moment of transition And we're going to move it to the other side. So bend your right knee this time, flat to the floor, and then take your left ankle over your right knee, creating that little figure of four shape. And then take your hands through the middle of your leg, one hand, the left hand through the middle of the leg, right hand on the outside. Make sure the back of the neck is long, Forehead and the chin are in the same line, so we need to take a cushion to keep the head level. And then allow the sacrum to be flat as you allow your body to sink towards the floor again, opening up. Working into the liver, the gallbladder, meridian lines in particular in this pose. Line is starting the big toe, going up the leg through the groin, the torso, works its way into the head, but then it works its way down the body through the arms, zigzags around the ribs, down to the hip, and then down the leg to finish again at the big toe. Check in with yourself, make sure you haven't subconsciously start to hold any tension, tension anywhere. And 
and you felt the body just melting into the mass. You work towards the maximum. Observe how your body's reacting, observe how your breath reacts. So try to control it. One more minute on this side. Mindfully allow your foot back down to the mat, straighten out the legs and take both feet over towards the right edge of the mat, the hips to the left and the shoulders and the arms to the right as well, creating the banana shape in the body. Make sure your hips stay grounded though, don't twist the hips in the same way that you don't twist the shoulders. And you can take your arms overhead and interlink wrists. You can cross one ankle over the other. over halfway on this side and as you open up in these poses make sure you're still feeling them you still need to feel the sensations the tugging sensations perhaps down the side of the body but if you're not feeling the pose anymore make sure you do get some sensation by just adjusting yourself going a little bit deeper into it Final 40 seconds.
straighten the body again, moving mindfully to bring your spine straight on the mat, the feet to the edges, relaxing through the ankles, and arms either side of your body, palms open, that feeling of surrender. Allow the spine to be neutral. You might recognize that there's some after effects and sensations running through the body. Think of this as being an unblocking of energy so that life force can move around the clearer path, renewing, energizing. We're going to roll over onto our right side so you can come up. We're going to then come down to our Tummies. Just take the feet wide. Take the hands to the edges of the mat. And you can come onto your fingertips here, like little um, spider fingertips. So the elbows are sticking out wide. And we're just going to engage through our arm muscles slightly, our um, uh, core muscles, our spine muscles, as we come up. Bringing our chin into our chest, we push away from the floor, then open up through the throat and come back down again. This undulating cobra, bringing the chin into the chest, push away from the floor. On the exhale, open the throat and come all the way back down again. Inhale, chin to the chest, push away from the floor, use your spine muscles to bring you up. Exhale. All the way back down. Just two more of these. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Be a wave through the body of breath and circulation. Coming back down. Allow yourself to settle on the mat. Practicing the arms. Bring the left knee up so that you're coming up to a little frog leg, like a half frog. So. Your leg is like a right angle, knee is in line with the hip or even higher. Take your gaze to the side where the bent knee is and allow yourself to just find your left hip coming towards the ground so it's not, not uh, lifting too high. You want to sort of feel you're able to ground the left hip as you lie flat with the left, right and left lap to the towel. So you're getting a profile stretch as well in here. And your arms can be cactus arms, so the inside of the arm is flat to the floor rather than pushing away. Just keep your gaze towards the same side as your bent knee. And allow yourself here for another two minutes in our half frog. And as your body settles here, you should feel the hip opening up more, and closer towards the ground. Make sure you're relaxing through the backs of your legs. Letting the belly be soft. more seconds on this side.
So push your upper body away from the mat slightly and take, we're going to thread the needle with our arms. So you're taking your right arm under the arm of your left. Palm is open to the ceiling as you extend the arm away from you. Then you're going to start rolling over towards your back, keeping the bent knee grounded. As you roll, the knee will drag towards your body, that's fine. You want to roll over onto your back, imagine your shoulders will um, start settling towards the floor. They might not be there yet, you can dangle your left arm if it's not there, you can just let the weight of the arm start to drag you down. Try to keep your bent knee still grounded to the floor though as you roll over into this spine twist. So you're opening your chest to the ceiling above you and letting gravity work for you as you take that twist into a deeper twist. And we're going to hold this spine twist for three minutes. So imagine your left shoulder is coming to the floor behind you. You take your gaze up to the ceiling. If you want to extend the twist, you can even take it to the opposite wall if you want to behind you. So really feel your chest opening up to the ceiling above you as you take the twist deeper. And the knee stays grounded. And we're halfway in this pose now. So again, check in with yourself, make sure you're not holding any tension, not clenching the jaw, you're not stopping yourself opening up in the pose by engaging muscles. As we twist, as we stretch, as we open our body, we're starting to work on nourishing it, on preventing bone on bone friction by plumping up the cartilage with an improved quality of synovial fluid. As we hold these poses, it changes the quality of the synovial fluid. Absorbed by the cartilage and that stress that we put onto the ligaments connecting the bone to the bone, they start to lengthen by holding them longer so that we finish your practice as well as the more space you've created in the body, you also might find a greater range of movement. Mindfully come back around onto your tummy. And again, just take both hands, side of fingers, either side, just under your shoulder, uh, just wide of your shoulders. And we'll just go through the undulating cobra again. So bring the chin into the chest. Just push away from the floor, bring the chin up. Exhale, come all the way down. Just gonna do five of these, so inhale and coming out. Exhaling, coming down. If you have any pinching in the lower spine, take the legs a little bit wider. And then we're coming down to our half frog on the other side when you've done your five. So bend your right knee 
making sure it's in line with the hip or higher. Got a little L shape with the legs so the inside of the foot is flat to the floor. You can cactus the arms, take your gaze to the same side as the bent knee so that your ear is flat to the floor, getting the profile stretch. And then think about disengaging, relaxing into this pose. So you can feel your right hip grounding towards the floor. So we open up a little bit more. Going beyond the muscle into that deeper tissue. In these restorative poses, we may not be burning calories and we might not be working with the sweat, obviously. There are things happening at a deeper level that you'll come to realize as you practice. One of these things is allowing the nervous system to slow down. Although we've got this enforced lockdown at the moment, it doesn't necessarily mean our body's getting the right rest and digest that it needs. Our minds might be worried. We might be having very busy minds at a time like this. We might still also be rushing. We're doing lots of things around the house. Perhaps increased physical activity even because we've got more time to do it. And counterbalance that with a session like this just to be able to rest and digest. Making sure that your organs aren't constantly being fed with adrenaline, further organ eating hormones. One more minute in this pose. So as you bring the upper body away from the mat, you want to thread the needle with the left arm this time coming under the right armpit. So you stretch it as far away as possible, planting the shoulder down, palm open to the ceiling, and then start rolling over towards your back, opening the chest to the ceiling. The knee will drag towards your body, keep that grounded, and just allow the weight of your upper shoulder to start bringing the spine down towards the mat behind you as you come into this twist. Remember, gravity is our friend at times like this. Just let it go. Three minutes to work towards your maximum.
halfway on this side. Two more seconds. Back round onto your tummy. Taking the hands either side of your body. Just engage through your arm muscles, engage through your abdominals. As you push the floor away from you, you come up to all fours. You might want to take a blanket now to cushion the knees. We're going to come into a dragonfly, sorry, dragon. So with the left knee, Still to the ground, hands at the front. Just take the right foot forward. There's several options with your right foot. You can have it in the middle between your hands and rest your body on top of your right foot. Making sure that your back knee is further enough back so that you feel an opening in the front of the leg into the flexor area. Or you can take your hands on the inside Soften through the elbows. You can even have a cushion there or a block if you have that, or books if you want to. Just open up deeper into this, allowing yourself to sit down. We've got a little bit of time here. We're going to be doing uh, two minutes here before keeping uh, moving back into a half split. So make sure your knee is cushioned. You can rest your body on your thigh or you can have the hands on the inside of the elbows soft. Then drop the head down, make sure there's no tension in the neck. Moving mindfully, be kind to your body. Make sure your foot isn't too far, the front foot isn't too far back behind your knee. You more or less want it under your knee. You let your mind go wherever it needs to go. Again, just observe how you react to these poses. If your breath becomes more shallow, the pose perhaps is a little more challenging. Just remind yourself to release. To hold on to that that's negative thought about the challenge. That's going to stop you opening up further. Observe it, don't hold on to it, just let it go. 20 more seconds.
and your on your elbows come up to your hands engaging the arm muscles and abdominals slightly moving mindfully with care we're just going to keep the foot planted the knee planted and walk the weight back now you might want to have a cushion either side of you to rest the hands you're going to just keep the, lot, the front leg as long as you can so that you can feel a stretch in the front leg if this is too intense it's perfectly okay come all the way back and sit on your heel and then you can just increase the stretch by folding forward so listen to what is right for your body as you come back if you are keeping your hips lifted again it's about Increasing the stretch as you open up, making sure you're still feeling sensation in the pose. Another one minute 30 in this stretch. So you've got time to open up. Don't push or pull. It's gravity that works for you. Two more seconds. As you move, we're taking the weight forward again and bending into the front knee, sinking down again into the extended leg at the back. And it's time to take a twist. You might want to um, have a strap handy. You're going to take the hand, the opposite hand to the back foot, so it'd be the right hand. Just take it behind and reach the, um, the foot behind you into your hand so that you can just twist behind. If this is too much, take the strap under the back foot, so you might just need to move your body a little bit to get that under the foot. Hold the strap, then you can hold the strap and bring the foot up. So you're just wanting to take the twist. If you haven't got a strap handy, you can just bend the back knee and twist your body towards it, even if you can't reach. So take the twist because it's the twist where we get the benefits and then again the weight sinks forward and down so you kind of take your one shoulder behind you then that's it yeah let me spend that was looking at there Final 30 seconds. Release. 
release. And just plant the hands to take the knees back side by side. You have a choice here. You can just swing the hips, circle the hips. If you want to, you can go into your downward dog by lifting the hips up to the ceiling. To see what's right for you today. Working into it. And then we're going to take it into the other side. So make sure your right knee is cushioned as you pull the left foot forward. And as always, our, balance, our bodies aren't always balanced out. So you might find you can go deep on the side or you might find you can't go as deep. So your choice with the first part of your dragon is resting the body along the length of your bent uh, knee thigh there, or hands on the inside, soft elbows to allow yourself to sink that little bit deeper, making sure your back knee is extended away from you so you can open up into the hip flexor. You always take support underneath the elbows or the hands if that's what you need. It's only you that can feel the sensations in your body. So although we give you the guidance, listen to what is open for you today. Be kind to your body, respect it. And think about softening through the face again. Sending that message of softness to the rest of the body. Forty more seconds. Engage with the abdominals, your arm muscles as you bring the body upright and start shifting mindfully, taking the weight back towards the hips, lengthening through your front leg. Don't worry if your front leg isn't straight, if there's, if there's a bend there, that's absolutely fine. And think about what is best for you. The easier option is coming all the way down to sit on your back heel. You want it to be more intense, you can keep your hips lifted. More intense in both of those options is folding the body towards the leg. Don't push, don't pull. Just breathe. Let the body open. Whatever is coming to the mind, let it come. Don't hold on to it. Again, we're observing what pops up in our mind in these poses. We let the mind wander wherever it needs to go. We don't try to control our thoughts. Thirty more seconds. And 
now let's take the weight forward, bending into the and coming into our twist on this side. So work out if you need a strap under the back uh, foot. And you're twisting with the opposite hand to the back leg. Bringing the foot in towards the buttock, sinking down into the front hip flexor. So the twist is what we're wanting in this pose. We're just holding it for a minute. Look over your shoulder towards your back foot, sinking into the hip flexor. So release the back foot down to the ground. Both hands come back to the ground. Push away from the floor, pulling through the abdominals so that you can take the knee back. And again, take whichever movement your body's asking for, whether it's wagging the tail, coming into downward dog and pedaling it out. Or you can do both, try them out, see which one is best for you. And then come back around, sitting down on the bottom and allowing your body to come all the way back down to the mat. We're going to come into a twisted root. So spine comes flat to the mat. Cross your right leg over your left so that you're crossed at the knees. You can cactus the arms so the hands can be soft on either side of you, back to the arms, flat to the floor. Shuffle the hips over to the right side of the mat slightly so you can roll over onto your left hip. Your hand can always guide the knees towards the floor, keeping the knees crossed if you can as you come into your twisted root. Or just hold it for a minute on both sides. So the shoulders stay flat. flat and the knees fall towards the floor. You should feel it in this pose in the outer right hip, as well as tugging sensation in the twist of the spine. So all twists are detoxing. Getting compression in the organs of the torso here, which is the massaging of the organs as well. back to the center and hug both knees into your chest so you can realign your spine perhaps just rock gently side to side just to massage into the kidneys and then we're going to take our twisted root the other side so cross the left over the right Shuffle your hips to the left side of the mat. And roll over onto your right hip, keeping the shoulders flat and the knees, let them fall towards the floor. If you need 
big cushion under the knees, that's absolutely fine. Or just let them dangle. Gravity will help drag them towards the floor. Don't worry if they're not touching. Back to the center, and again, hug the knees in. Just rocks gently side to side before keeping the knees bent. Take the feet, the outside edges of the mat, and allow the knees to fall in towards each other so it's like a teepee of the knees. Place one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. And feel your breath as you connect to your breath. And then gently allow the knees to wind the wiper side to side as you loosen up through the hips. And you fall side to side. Before you straighten out the legs and come into your final savasana. Several options in your savasana. If you want the soles of your feet together and the knees out to the edges of the mat, that's absolutely fine. You can have your legs straight to the edges of the mat or you can take them wider. Your arms can be gently either side of you or you can take them overhead, take them, taking them wide into a star shape. Whatever is comfortable for you, this final two minutes to let your body completely relax. Release. past is history, so let it go. The future is a mystery, so let it come. The present is this moment, now, and it's a gift. 
to be truly present now, release all your fears which are based on the past, your worries which are imagined futures, begin simply with awareness of now. You breathe into the body, breathe into the space you've created into it, and breathe in your awareness. your arms overhead, bring the feet together, stretch through your toes, stretch through your fingertips. And then keeping your right arm above you, just roll over onto your right side so you can rest your head on your right arm as you bring your knees towards your chest. And then gently push yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to your heart centre. And on your inhale, bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears. On the exhale, take them back and down. Inhale, fill the lungs, fill the belly. Exhale, open the mouth, side out. Thank you for letting me guide you through your practice this evening. Namaste.